today I would like to discuss and explore one of the ways in which psychopaths power struggle with you. The psychopath narcissist is quite the chameleon, leading you to think he or she is one thing and in the blink of an eye display themselves for what they truly are. Uncaring, power hungry, power domineering individuals. The psychopath narcissist abuser uses many clever traits to obtain their desired results. Some tactics are so subtle and weaved into everyday activities that to the untrained and unfamiliar eye, they can go unnoticed and seem quite benign and harmless. However, to the trained eye, something more sinister is observed. I will use the following example to explain this subtle and complex dynamic. I acknowledge that abusive people come in all forms, male or female, but for this example, I will use the female as the target of the abuse and the male as the perpetrator. Let's begin. It's the weekend. The target of abuse is busy looking after the children and doing the housework. She hasn't been had a chance to catch up on during the week because she has a part-time job. He asks her if he can help her to make things easier for her. She says, yes, that would be great. Could you please go to the grocery store and do some shopping? Yes, he says. Okay, great then, she says. She thinks, wow, what a nice guy. He's going to help me out. He's finally got it and understands that I'm overwhelmed and need his assistant and teamwork to keep the house and family running. She's excited. She writes up the shopping list. She hands it over to him. He takes it. He looks at it and examines it carefully. He looks at her. She looks at him, smiling, thankfully. He then starts yelling at her, tells her she wants too much. Things have to come off the shopping list. She isn't being realistic. She has no clue what is needed for the household. She looks at him with her mouth wide open, shaking her head in disbelief, unable to come to terms with what he's saying. What is he saying? He asked if he could help her out. She gave him a shopping list. He took the shopping list from her. Then he spends an hour yelling at her and disagreeing with most things that are on the shopping list. She feels hurt and confused. She feels frightened. She starts shaking, trying to figure out what just happened here. What has happened here is she, got, she just got set up. She was set up by the abuser. He offered her help and in that offer was the unspoken agreement that if he helps her, it's on his terms and what he wants with lots of abuse as a side order and maybe somewhere along the line she might get one or two things she wants just to keep her quiet just to keep her hanging in there just to cause her further confusion along with that his helping her with also comes free with being yelled at ridiculed abused put down and destroyed all this over a shopping list this is but one of the many tools the abuser will use to engage his target into a power struggle and he works his way up to being in charge, in control and abusive to see fit how he wants to manipulate any situation and her to make himself feel superior and right. His constant need to be in charge is in a negative way is endless. He will look for the negative in any situation and use it to his advantage of being abusive. To add to this, he will follow her around the house while she tries to get away from him. No, he thinks, she has to listen to me. How dare she walk off whilst I'm, be I'm yelling at her and distorting her with lies. He will wear her down with his unreasonable, illogical arguments until she finally gives in just to stop him from talking with his toxic, venomous, harmful words. Finally she gives in. She has half the shopping list items taken off the list. He is happy now. He leaves to go shopping. She goes to the bedroom and lies down. She has a migraine. She's shaking and she feels sick to her stomach. No one witnessed the ordeal. She just went through. How would she even begin to explain to someone else when she can barely make sense of it herself. What just happened, she asks. 
Why must it be so complicated and hurtful every time she wants or needs something basic? Why? Because she lives with a psychopath, narcissist, abuser who has such a distorted and toxic view of life and everyday situations that normal people cannot possibly begin to make logical sense of such a distorted and bordering on illogical behaviour. Because the abuser's thinking isn't logical nor reasonable, it's all about control, power and at any expense, at the expense of safety, trust and freedom. And the abuser could care less about any of those essential relationship qualities. They are words he doesn't have any emotional attachment to or need for. Understanding this from a rational point of view of observation, it's enough to send shivers down your spine, really. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video and please keep safe.